Mwahahaha! <laughs> Here are some tips about one of the least thought about blocks in Minecraft, cauldrons. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is the show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. This week, we're going to be talking about cauldrons. Cauldrons were added by Notch in Minecraft Beta 1.9. They've been in the game for a while and were originally intended as, for, uh, uh, as a tool to use for potion brewing. You could add items into the cauldron, which would change the colors into this cool lava texture. Nowadays, they're just used to hold water. So we're going to highlight this block with five cauldron tips. So the first tip is obviously cauldrons can hold water. When you go ahead and place them down, they are empty. You can even jump into them. Their hitbox is just big enough for you to fit inside, there we go. And uh, you can take a water bucket and fill it with water. Uh, once you've done that, you can pull the water out with glass bottles. It holds up to three glass bottles inside of a cauldron. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, game mode zero myself so you can see that you get three bottles before it empties out. Of course, you can uh, use this to brew uh, into any sort of potion with a brewing stand. Now, next, I want to show off uh, that these cauldrons will actually collect water in rain. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle downfall, which is a way to start rain in Minecraft. And it may take a little while, but eventually... Uh, these, uh, one of them will fill up just a bit. In fact, uh, these leaves may be causing uh, issues here. Uh, what happens is, throughout the course of a storm, there is a very small chance that uh, around 15% that one cauldron will get a little bit of water in there. And this can be uh, just one level or multiple levels uh, throughout the course of the rain. I have so many cauldrons here to show off this because of this small chance of rain actually creating a puddle inside of a cauldron. But it does work. You can use cauldrons to uh, collect rain. For the third tip, we'll actually go ahead and use this cauldron that filled up. You can take dyed pieces of armor and undye them by splashing them into the cauldron. So if we go ahead and fill up another cauldron, we have this uh, leather tunic that has been dyed, and it says right at the bottom, dyed, uh, and obviously we can see that it's been dyed light blue. If we uh, right click, it will uh, lose, the cauldron will lose a level of water and the leather will become undyed, which is very, very helpful. Uh, another thing that many people forget about is that uh, cauldrons, because they can hold water, are an easy way for you to put yourself out if you catch yourself on fire. Oh, you know what? I need to... Here, let me step out of the fire. Uh, the rain, of course, here's a bonus tip, will also put you out uh, if it is raining. So I was being caught on fire and then being immediately... Uh, uh, set, uh, turned off on fire. So uh, now I am definitely on fire. We can try to do the dance to fall in, and there we go. Uh, now the fire is gone, which is a nice way. This is uh, one way, and possibly the only way, to put yourself out uh, because, and you can see the, the level of the water went down, to put yourself uh, out of fire when you are in, dun da da, the nether. Because Cauldrons are one of the only ways that you can place water in the nether. So if we go ahead and place this bucket inside, there we go. We have water in the nether, which has been unattainable until now. As you can see, let's, uh, I just have a death wish here. Let's go ahead and catch myself on fire. And uh, if we run over and jump in to this cauldron, there we go. It uh, went down a level and now we are not on fire. So really, really useful, and that would be the fifth tip. 
To craft a cauldron, it's very easy. All you need is seven iron ingots and an upside down pants formation, and that gets you a cauldron. If you see a, a minecart, that's not what you want. Uh, that's the hat formation. Make sure you aim for the upside down pants formation. Fun fact, cauldrons can be found in the world uh, that naturally generate if you look inside of swamp hunts. So search your local swamp for some cauldrons that you don't need to use any iron to get. I hope you found these tips awesome. If you would like to subscribe, please head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft. If you'd like to follow my personal channel, head on over to youtube.com slash omgchad, where I do Minecraft Let's Plays and vlogs. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!